So in this video, we're going to look at uh, approximation and estimation. And the first technique that we are going to learn is something called rounding. So what is rounding? Uh, let's start with an example. Let's say we have a number 1242.689. So this is a number with uh, lots of digits. And say the questions ask you to round off to the nearest 100. Uh, so if we are asked to near, uh, round off to the nearest 100, that means we don't want to see tens, we don't want to see uh, ones, we don't want to see the decimal points. So uh, two things can happen. Uh, so we know that we want to round off to the hundreds. Uh, we look at a tens number. So if this tens is five or equals or equal, is more than five or equals to five, then we call it round down, or uh, round up. Sorry, round up. So you round up when it is five or equal of or the number is bigger than five in the tens digit. So what happens in round up? You add one to the uh, hundreds number, but in this case. We are doing a round down because the number in tens is less than five. So the answer for this question, if the questions ask you to round off this number to the nearest hundred, is one thousand two hundred. Because you don't have to care about the rest of the digits, you just have to look at the tens. If it's more, it goes to five. You round up to one thousand three hundred. But since it's less than five, it's four. We round down to one thousand two hundred. So what if the number was one two six two point six eight nine? So if we are asked to round off this number to the nearest hundreds, the answer will be one thousand three hundred because six is more than five. So that was rounding off to the nearest hundred. But the question can ask you to round off to the nearest ten. So uh, if the question asks you to round off to the nearest 10, then you must look at the singles number. So if the question is 10, the answer will be 1, 2, 4. Because uh, the numbers, because the, uh, the 1 and 2, you won't change. And the single is less than 5, so it's 0. So this is round off to the nearest 10. Uh, same as if you round off to the nearest 1,000. So if you round off to the nearest 1,000, you look at the hundreds. And the hundreds in this case is less than five, so rounded off to the nearest thousand is one thousand. It is similar if you are looking at uh, decimal points. So, for example, uh, the questions ask you to round off to two decimal places. So the question will tell you, give me your answer, uh, rounded off to two decimal places. So two decimal, pl uh, if you round off two decimal places, that means you must look at what is the third decimal place this question. So let's take this number again, 12426.689, rounded off to 2. So 9 is bigger than 5, so you add 1 to the previous. So if you two decimal places, you get 1242.69, because the third one was more than 5. So what if uh, the uh, question asks you for one decimal place? Then you look at the second decimal place. If it's more than five, you plus uh, you you round off to one. If it's less than five, you just take off the number. You round off to the run. You round it down. So it's in this case, it's more than five. So it's one two four six two uh, one two four two point seven. Oh, let's get rid of that. So that is how you do rounding. Another way you are. Uh, sometimes asked uh, to do approximation is by approximation by significant figures significant figures so sometimes the question may ask you to express the answer in uh, two, signif two significant figures or even three significant figures so let's look at example so let's have this number 0. Point 00824 so uh, we count significant figures by going left and right and the first significant figure is the one that uh, is not zero so from left to right this is zero so this is not a significant figure no no and this is the first significant figure because this is non-zero so any number that goes after is uh, our significant figures 
Uh, so it's e to four. This is the first. This is the second, and this is the third significant figure. So if the questions ask you to express it in two significant figures, then the answer will be zero point zero eight two. So likewise, just like rounding, if the third number is more than five or more than or equals to five, then you must add one to the uh, to the front. So if the question if the question was given to you. Uh, 0 0.0826 and it asks you to round off to two significant figures then the answer will be 0 0.083 because the next figure is more than 5 or equals to 5 so what about bigger numbers uh, that are not decimal points for example uh, 458.26 so likewise uh, this we look from left to right so the first significant figure will be this one this is the first significant figure, this is the second, and this is the third, and so on and so on. So, if the questions ask you to express this in two significant figures, that means uh, it will be the first two. So it will be four, and for the second fig significant figure, you have to take into account the third one, it's because the, if the third one is more than or equals to five, you have to round up. So in this case, eight is more than five, so you have to round up with six. So this will be the answer in two significant figures. So we always remember you have to go from uh, left to right. And the first non-zero number you see would be the first significant figure. And then you count uh, that ways to the right. So why are we learning uh, things like rounding or even finding out about significant figures? So in fact, the approximation and estimation is a very good way for you to do uh, quick mental sums or even quick sums of uh, different numbers that you get and help you give uh, get quick answers to the calculations so for approximation actually uh, there is a sign for it which is this is the curvy equal sign so sometimes uh, you are definitely aware that it's like 5 plus 10 equals 15 so this is the equal sign so if you do an approximation of a sum, that means, uh, for example, 4.82 plus 9.98 is approximately equals to 15. So this sign can be read as uh, approximately. So let's see an example where it really helps to do approximation. So what about this question? 31.49 times 1.08. Minus 9.89. Will you be able to do a quick calculation of this without using a calculator? Maybe you can, but you take quite a while. But uh, if you do an approximation, we can say that this is approximately 30. Uh, this is approximately equals to 1. This is approximately equals to 10. So in this case, uh, we we have to assume that uh, the approximation is to one significant figure. So by Change, rounding this number to one significant figure, this number to one significant figure, and this one number to one significant figure, I could e yeah, easily calculate this uh, to be equals to 20. You notice that this is approximate, but this to this is not approximate, it's an equal sign, because 30 times 1 minus 10 is equals to 20. It's not an approximation, uh, it's not approximately equals to 20. The approximation comes when this number is approximately equals to this number. So most of the time, questions would actually uh, let you know how much you can approximate. If not, you have to actually do a best guess on uh, what is the uh, level of approximation you need to do. But uh, most of the times, the questions will ask you, say you can approximate by rounding off to like two decimal places or two significant figures. So these, how much you can round off, you really have to take note. Uh, I think one thing, uh, one final thing I need to uh, talk to you about is the is that approximation sometimes is very bad. So for example, I have a number 5,500 and we approximate it to the nearest thousand or one significant figure, it's approximately 6,000. And for a figure like 6,400, uh, if we do it to uh, nearest thousand or one significant figure, it's also 6,000. But if you look at the difference between these two numbers, it's actually a difference of 900. 
where the difference of the approximation is zero. So you can see that the the difference uh, and the approximation may be good or may be bad. So uh, you really have to uh, take note of uh, how the how the approximation can be done or how much you can actually round it off to. So that uh, essentially is the whole chapter on approximation and estimation.